Oh, hey everyone, um, super quick video today. Uh, hopefully super quick, I don't know, I may drag it out, you never know. Um, I was all set to make a video on um, my uh, Vancouver downtown experience. Shot all this B-roll. <laughs> kind of fun. Um, all over um, downtown uh, Vancouver, mostly along the, the waterfront and all that kind of stuff. But um, uh, gorgeous day that day uh, on New Year's Day. Um, but um, I get uh, back and I'm going to do all the, the editing uh, when I got back. And actually, I just noticed that um, apparently had a dust particle on the sensor. So, um, of course, I'm going through every piece of footage and you can see that little dust particle floating around there on every single uh, image that I, or video that I shot. So, fantastic, right? Um, but, um, so yeah, by the way, use this little guy on the sensor. Clean that up <laughs> after the fact, of course. But, um, so, uh, I thought maybe I'd make a video today, um, instead of the B-roll footage that I was going to do, um, I'm going to make a video on how to remove that dust particle. And um, I had found some footage online or some, some videos on YouTube actually on how to do that in Premiere Pro, but it only really seems to work uh, well uh, for at least the methods that they suggested. Um, if um, the pixels around that dust particle on the sensor, uh, or in the video I should say, um, are all the same essentially. Uh, and so um, I thought, well, you know, why not make a video on how to remove it in After Effects um, once I found something that, um, that might potentially work um, using Content Aware Fill. So coming from a photography perspective, as a photographer I'm always in Photoshop or in Lightroom and so while in Photoshop you can use Content Aware and it's fantastic so I thought it's got to work in a video, right? So, um, so you can kind of see my workflow on how I finally was able to get it uh, the the dust particle removed from the video. So here it comes, get excited. I'm sure everybody is excited, but uh, it's gorgeous day in Vancouver. I may kind of do a little pan out here in the window so you can see what it looks like from my apartment for those people who are not familiar with Vancouver, BC. Uh, and um, we'll see you soon. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, everyone, let's just jump right into it. Um, hear me, see me opening in Adobe After Effects 2020. We're going to go straight to new composition from footage. Um, and you'll see me selecting the video clip that we're looking at. And if you look on the right hand side, this is in Canada Place, by the way, in Vancouver downtown. You'll see that dust particle kind of going down from the right from the railing down. And then you kind of see it right behind the young lady's legs right there. So what we're going to do is going to click on the pen tool. And we're going to start um, basically uh, putting a mask around that uh, dust particle there. So you'll see me just clicking on a dot here and there and it's basically connecting uh, the edges around that um, or going around the edges of that uh, dust particle there super quick um, and that's like again from the dust or the pen tool and now what we want to do is we want to subtract that area from the video essentially so you're going to expand out the section there and you'll see where the masks are um, on the left hand side in the project and we're going to click on that little uh, drop down right next to it and click on subtract and that basically removes that section um, from the video. And then what you are seeing me do here now is defining the work area essentially, um, where you're going to generate um, the content aware fill layer, if you will. So I'm going to define from the left hand side there um, where I want the uh, work area to start. That's what you see right there. And I'm gonna um, drag around uh, the end area there on the right hand side and that is the point where I am going to stop the um, the mask essentially. What I want to do is I want to stop it right above that couple's head because that uh, the dust particle kind of blends into their clothing there. I don't need to go any farther than that. Um, so that's where you see me kind of putting that end point on the work area. And basically uh, here I am clicking on the generate fill layer and because we're good to go. Um, and what you see uh, on the left I didn't point out earlier is that um, I had clicked on that little clock um, by the mask path and what that allows you to do is just to kind of expand out the mask area um, as you're, you're going uh, in case you have a scenario in which it, it kind of bleeds over. So um, obviously what you see on the right hand side is me um, after I had clicked on the generate fill layer if you will and uh, it creates the PNG file up above your um, your video, your MP4 in this case, um, or it could be an MOV file um, if you shot um, an Apple compatible. 
And here we go. Um, we've generated our fill layer, and you kind of see me dragging it down after I went back and made some a few mods, um, noticing that the dust particle kind of moves around a little bit in in the the individual frames um, as it's going up above the couple's head. So that's what you see me doing here. Uh, you see those little points along the, the mask path. Those are where I expanded out the individual mask by just kind of dragging it out using the pen tool. So nothing real earth shattering. Uh, the reason I'm doing it in After Effects is because I couldn't get it to work in Premiere Pro using the dust and scratches. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, create your mask, generate your fill layer, you're good to go. Um, I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, please like and subscribe, and look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, thanks.